Hello again guys and welcome back to another SLA how to video. Today we're going to be going over how to beat Baruka as a free to play player. Uh, we're going to be going through a few tips and tricks of what to do, his move sets, um, the perfect build. First of all, I want to say that my account is not completely free to play. I look at myself as a more free to win player because i do have purchases on my account such as skins however these guides will help players who are completely free to play maybe you have a few ssrs or no ssrs uh, regardless i've already beaten the boss so this might not be a accurate representation of how to tackle the boss but i'll try my best to use the resources that i have to show you guys what to do all right, so with that being said, let's jump right into the video. The first thing to note for this fight is that Baruka carries a breakage bar and you will need to bring break-in support in heroes. Uh, Jin Wu is perfect for this if you are free to play and haven't picked any better breakers. Also, the Don Sooks brothers, those are also very good breakers if you have them. They're steady, they're decent. One of them does uh, defense up. Jim Chow is also another good one and there is a few others such as Chow that provides you with defense. You might want to also consider bringing a healer if you are not the best at shifting. Now the perfect SSR to bring for this fight is going to be Seal. However, if you don't have CO, Chow is a good option. Nan is one of the best mistake. breakers in the game, arguably. And me. I'm going to be going with a special team here. I'm going to be using my Chahe. I'm going to be using my Min. And I'm going to be using CO. As you can probably notice, I am way overpowered here. And I'm going to be going with a specific weapons. I'm going to be trying to drop my power down. I already have Baruka in my shadows, so I'm going to remove her and I'm going to use the shadows that you would already have, which is the blade shadows, and then we will try to adjust her weapons. It is important to note that Baruka is uh, weak to fire elements, so bringing fire weapons would be good, like the fire grimoire. The daggers would be good if you have them at tier 2, and also the Arb of Avarice is actually perfect for this fight if you have it. But whatever your weapons you have will work just fine. It all matters on the movements that you do. And Baruka's ultimate is a little sketchy to dodge, but you can actually dodge it. Here, I'm just going to be going with whatever I have at the time just to kind of walk you guys through the movements. What I will say though is that skill choices are the most important for this fight and a few of the skills that I'm going to walk you guys through for this fight is that if you have the death dance breakage skills that one works as well but the best one to bring is the almighty break whether it is in light or fire. Fire would be best because you can charge it up. If you don't, then you can go with the vertical art slash. This is very good because it does a lot of damage or the multi-strike fire skill. But whatever break it skills would be really good to use. I've already went ahead and I chained my skills. Normally, I would not use these skills for the fight. I use my vertical slash and just almighty break. So we're going to try to walk out through the moves for Baruka here and then we see how best we can do it. Also guys, let me know what team you use to beat Baruka down below in the comments um, and let me know what strategies you use and if you had a better time fighting him than I did. All right, so let's start walking through his moves. So the first thing you want to do after the open and cutscene is just walk forward and stand still. Baruka will go in a cloud of shadows and then he will teleport towards you. You can get your shadow step off there. Baruka's second skill is a little tricky because he doesn't always do the same thing. Sometimes he will do this blade skill or he will do the dash forward. Now let's go over the first couple steps that we did and then I'll show you how that plays out. So here you can see he came towards me and I did my shadow step. I activated all of my skills at this time because I had the grimoire. Uh, if you do not have the grimoire to freeze him in place, there are other skills such as non freeze him in place. But it's very important to note that whenever Baruka said I'll send you to hell, you just need to run around in a circle because he will start to fire spikes towards you. Then he will come crashing down. 
Now at around 20 or so, health bars, Baruka will say it's time to die. The moment he says it's time to die, you need to double dash if you want to shift his ultimate skills. Sometimes I get it off, sometimes I don't. It's very sketchy. That is why I recommend bringing a healer. And I will uh, show you a better clip in a minute of how to do this and how you can get away from him. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead again and rerun the fight using heroes that I think everyone should have or will have which is all SR heroes, no SSRs. I will show you a more accurate representation of what it is. I will not try to be perfect in this fight at all. I will just try to survive like most people will for this fight and hopefully it goes well. Uh, this is being recorded real time so I'm hoping that uh, the fight will actually go as well and um, I won't be using the grimoire but i think almost everyone will have the plum sword plum is my go-to weapon so i will never swap that out um and then we will see from there so let's jump into the fight and see what we can do boys There you have it guys, we defeated Baruka with similar fashion that most people probably will with low HP but I tried my best not to make this run perfect by not dodging his ultimate because I don't think a lot of people will be able to dodge it anyways but if there is any other videos that you guys need help with just go ahead and let me know again I know this isn't an accurate representation of power because I am a little overpowered with weapon level and so on but I hope this video helped and I'll catch you guys in the next one